Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Earlier today I posted I wasn't going to be doing any videos at all today. Mostly because there wasn't really a lot of stuff out there and nothing newsworthy anyway, I should add. And I just want to have a day off and just relax and chill. However, going through Twitter, I came across a tweet from The Quartering, who was posting his new video. And it got me thinking a little bit, because I knew the person in his thumbnail. It was Ricky Bertwick, you know, one of the, uh, one of the funniest disabled YouTubers going, and I followed him for a long, long time. And it's all about a comment in a video that he'd done the other day regarding someone who wrote an article for MTV. And this person who wrote the article is called Velissa Thompson. She is a disabled person herself. However, in her actual bio on Twitter, it states Disability to White Creator. Founder of Ramp Your Voice, which is a great cause, I will say that right now. And, you know, disability rights, she's a consultant, social worker, writer, and so forth. But after Ricky done his little video, she done a couple of tweets, and these tweets are absolutely disgusting. So the first three are not that bad. I will say that uh, someone has called her the N-word, which is absolutely, that is despicable, and that is ha that's horrible, you don't do that. You know, you don't, you don't become racist and everything else, just to get your point across. Remember what I just said about being racist and getting your point across, okay? After being harassed for over 24 hours, someone finally called me the N-word. Surprised it took that long. Ain't the first time, and it's ironic because it's on the heels of the hashtag versary. Be more original with your insults. I survived being called the N-word for over 24 hours on this app. That doesn't shake me at all. But y'all continue to try. I've been quiet about the, about the harassment because I didn't want to draw attention to it. But the deal breaker I had in mind was the N-word. I'm being harassed because someone has become obsessed about my article and their horrid fans has called me every name imaginable. So, she's saying that someone has become obsessed with her article. Well, that's mostly because she actually has a dig at disabled people. She's saying that disabled people should really go and watch Avengers Endgame because of its long run time. And if your bladder is affected by a disability, then you will miss it, so you shouldn't watch it. That's the gist of her article. But this is the tweet that started, got me really angry about this, because I know quite a few disabled people. My father's a disabled person. At this moment in time, I'm classed as disabled because I got a permanent prolapse disc, which I need surgery and everything else. And until then, I mostly am either stuck around the house or I need help in getting normal day-to-day -day tasks done. But this is, so this is the tweet. White disabled men are violent. I'm not naming the person, it's easily searchable in my mention since his fans have tagged him relentlessly. Block and report as you need to. That's how you support and defend. And straight away with that, so she's a disabled black woman. And straight away she's saying being called the N-word is racist. So what does she go and do? She goes and be racist right back. And just the way she has said it. White disabled men are violent. And that's like, what? It's like, how? I don't understand. You know, it's like, what the hell are you doing? How dare you say that? And you've got a lot of people in the comments, a lot of disabled people, who are sticking up for Ricky. you got Taylor Danslosh. I, don't, I do apologise if I'm saying your name wrong, but her name's Taylor. And they're all saying, well, Ricky may be an egghead, but he's not violent, which he's not. You've got Crip Daddy... And he's there, and he's, he again, he's another cool guy, you know. Go and follow him if you need to. You know, he's a really funny entertainer as well. And he's saying on there as well, he's, he's like, well, how can I be violent if I'm just sat down all the time? You know, you got that. Again, you got Ricky responding to him and him going back. But you do have a lot of people sticking up for Ricky, and you also have a lot of people sticking up for disabled people in general. So... The way I look at this, and the way that she said that white men are disabled, well, white disabled men are violent, is absolutely disgusting. But, guess what, people? 
Twitter have said it's okay. This is where it gets really, really fucking stupid. So, she actually posted an email that was sent to her from Twitter. Hello, we have received a complaint regarding your account for the following content. The text tweet was, the white disabled men are violent one. We investigated the reported content and could not identify any violations of the Twitter rules. So, with Twitter saying that, it goes to show that Twitter, they're fine with people making fun and being racist towards white disabled men and it's okay for people to do it. That is one of the most disgustingly unethical things I've ever seen in my life. I have got in touch with BBC News and Fox News in the States and also CNN because this is wrong. You do not go and say, oh, you know, white disabled men are violent. You don't say that. You don't You don't go around doing that. That's absolutely disgusting. And she thinks it's fine. But another thing that I can't seem to uh, understand is that she has someone who is sticking up for her, a Sarah Blakovic, or Blowovic, whatever her name is. And she's like, oh, the list is one of the most badass advocates I know. She took on a real access consideration for many of us when it comes to long movies. Some white disabled man is trying to suck up to abled people by critiquing her, and she's been getting hate from his stands. Again, this woman is after that Valissa went out of her way and said white disabled men are violent and she's sticking up for her. She's disabled and she's like, oh yeah, it's fine. But I really do think if they said, you know, if if she said this person is these white people or these white women or these white disabled women are horrible, she'd be up in arms. But no, because it's white men and it's just white disabled men, I may add, it's like, yeah, who cares? It's absolutely disgusting what this woman's doing. I just can't even understand how Twitter thinks this is acceptable. And I will be getting in touch with other news outlets and this will be seen. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates. And please, don't be a racist and discriminating against white disabled people. Bye-bye.